Example 11. Determine whether each of the following functions is even, odd, or neither even nor odd. So we're going to use, we're going to first call, we're going to look at the even. So what is the definition of an even function? Well, that means that if you take f and use the input of negative x, then it's got to equal f of x. So what that means is that we're going to use negative x and then input that into the function. So it's going to be negative x, we're going to raise it to the fifth power, plus negative x. And we want to see if that's going to equal the function x to the fifth plus x. So negative x to the fifth power is negative x to the fifth. And then this is going to be minus x, which is equal to x to the fifth plus x. Well, this is not equals. So we know that it's not even. So it's not an even function. Okay, so let's take a look at the odd definition. Well, the odd definition tells us that if we have f of negative x, then that it should equal negative times f of x. So here, again, using the same thing on the left side, we have negative x raised to the fifth power plus negative x, and that's going to equal a negative times the entire function x to the fifth plus x. So on the left hand side we're going to get negative x to the fifth minus x and over here if we distribute the minus sign we're going to get negative x to the fifth minus x then we know that this works and so therefore this is an odd function because it satisfies the definition of an odd function. Now let's take a look at part B. In part B, if we want to determine whether this is an even function, again, we want to use the definition of f, actually not f, but this is g. So g of negative x would have to equal g of x for it to be an even function. So we have 1 minus negative x to the fourth which is equal to 1 minus x to the fourth. Well, we end up getting 1 minus the positive x to the fourth, which is equal to 1 minus x to the fourth. Well, since we already know that this is equal to each other, then it automatically is an even function, so we don't need to find out whether it's an odd function. So this is an even function. Okay, let's take a look at part C. So the definition states that if we have h of negative x, then that's got to e equal h of x for it to be an even function. So we have 2 times negative x minus negative x squared, which is equal to 2x minus x squared. So here we end up getting negative 2x minus x squared. And does that equal 2x minus x squared? Well, it doesn't equal, so it's not an even function. Now, if we want to check whether it is an odd function, then that means h of negative x would have to equal negative times the function h of x. So here we have 2 times negative x minus a negative x squared, and we want to see if it's equal to a negative times the entire function, 2x minus x squared. So here we get negative 2x minus x squared, and on this side we're going to get negative 2x plus x squared. So this is also not equal. So this is not an even function. 
So therefore, for the last one, we can say at the top here that it's neither even nor odd. Okay, now let's take a look at what the graph looks like for this, just so we can see what it would look like for the graph. So we have x to the fifth plus x. So let's go ahead and graph that on our calculator. So we have x to the fifth plus x. So here is our graph. I'm going to copy this graph. Okay, so this is our first graph, and then let's graph the second graph, 1 minus x to the fourth. So we have 1 minus x, oops, 1 minus x to the fourth. So there's our second graph, and then look, let's take a look at the last graph. We have 2x minus x squared. So we have 2x minus x squared. Okay, so if we look at the graph for the first one, okay, this is an odd function because it's crossing through the origin, and if you rotate it 180 degrees, it's going to end up being back in the same place. So therefore, that verifies the fact that this is an odd function. If we look at the graph for the next one, 1 minus x to the fourth, if you look at the y-axis, it cuts it in half, and it's symmetric. So therefore, that's an even function. Now, if you look at the last one here, okay, it's not... It doesn't, it's not in the, in the origin where we can rotate 180 degrees, and it's not symmetric according to the y-axis. So that's why it's neither even nor odd.